Yeah, there is no direction. All those mystical, magical stories that you've heard, all those chakra stories, all that energy stories, regarded as mumbo jumbo and trash it. None of that is true. You simply recognize who I'm the witness. Yeah. You simply recognize right now that you did not ask that question. Do you have that recognition? Exactly that. Now holding on to that understanding. Oh, I cannot ask. I cannot do. The question happened through this body-mind. I knew at the same time that Ekta heard the question. You start recognizing this truth. When you stop believing that wrong idea that I process the question before I ask Ekta. You cannot. It's impossible. We did that test, no? On Friday and Saturday, you did that, no? I will decide to walk from here to there. Let's see, am I the thinker? You did these tests like that. You keep testing. Am I really the thinker? Can I think? Can I decide to ask a question? Yeah, when you recognize these basics, oh, I'm only the witness. It is automatically happening. It's like standing at the right in the theater in front of that big screen where a movie is playing and trying to shout out something, telling the hero, do this or don't do that. But what goes on, goes on. Then assuming, oh, what the hero said, I thought of it. How silly is that? How can you know what the hero is going to say in that? You don't. Yeah, just like that. Exactly the same kind of a feeling you have when you are established as the witness. You just don't budge. It's so clear. Oh, I don't speak only. I cannot speak. It's not possible. Yeah? That recognition, it's, it's only a simple distance. It's always been there. It's not a new distance that is being going, going to be created in the future, no. As soon as I stop lying and remove the lies, discard the lies, I'll see, oh, the distance was always there. I'm not creating it and it's not in any particular direction. I, I am the witnessing space. The witnessing space is all around, like space only. I am the space, even now. My only problem is that I have a lot of lies under which my sight is buried and I can't see the wisdom. Once the lies is removed, stop seeing things as you imagine them and just see the truth. The lies is removed, then becomes apparent, oh, I am the witness and I am at a distance from this body-mind. That's it. Nothing else is going to happen. Huh? No magical direction, no energy movement. No, that is all Dvaitam Pad shopkeeper. You want to try? Try another few years. You just want to spend your money, go spend your money and come. And then say, ah, Ekta, you told me. Yet I spent it. Yeah? But that is required probably. So do it. Go out and play. Yeah, this is always there. Maharaj is here. Nowhere to go. He's right here. Yeah. So you will see the truth finally. It's not. It's not difficult. You are just stuck in that same insecurity that we spoke about. No, the I is wants to validate I am this person. It wants to validate that this is my world. This is my beloved. This is my house. Oh, this is my money, my bank balance. Yeah. Mine, mine, mine. It wants to validate that. Now I'm saying, no, it, it doesn't exist. It's not there. It's just a projection. Oh, you she's taking it away from me. Okay, hold on to it. How long? How long? One day you will see, oh, it's just pointless. It's just pointless. It's futile. That futility has to come over you. And when it comes, it comes like a tsunami wave. Then there is no going back. What you've seen, you can never unsee it. N not possible only. You can fool yourself for a little while, play a little game like you play with the kid, 
the kid gives you fake tea you take his cup you drink the tea just to smile with him yeah, but that's a two minute thing you go back to the truth right like that it'll happen you will play but you will know what the truth is and finally you will be done with this outer world you'll be just established there you you already know the answer you just have to put the book down and go ahead there is no other way there is how to do there is no how you just become clear that in all this amassing knowledge i am wasting time what is the ego doing again yes it wants something else to hold on to you recognize it no first i held on to material world mamata now spiritual world mamata oh i know 20 scriptures oh you know only 20 i know 25 <laughs> can you memorize all of them and you know just sing it along oh yeah i can sing 17 how many can you sing what's the point what's the point i can do yoga asanas with my head down and legs up in the air so so what so what i i know how to do 25 types of pranayama so what you master all these yogic techniques all these bhakti techniques you master everything you you memorize all the scriptures so what where are you still stuck no more come on higher level waking you're still stuck at the waking projection maharaj is taking you beyond you're still stuck at the waking projection maharaj is at attempting that you come to the fourth again you just go back to the first no i am just here maharaj is saying i'm giving you the entire sweet shop you're saying no i want only one laddu one candy one chocolate maharaj is saying the entire sweet shop is yours no no not all i just want one one candy okay No 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 I don't believe in blind faith in an external teacher that's why I keep telling you no blind faith in ekta do not believe her blindly you experiment on everything she says and if it sounds true to you then you continue otherwise say bye bye to ekta right there yeah no I do not believe in blind faith in a guru no nope. whoever says it doesn't matter to me it doesn't work doesn't work the scientific minded vyakti needs proper explanation with a direct path show me how to get there don't tell me philosophy no singing sanskrit shlokas nothing do you see this truth that i'm explaining to you yeah it's a natural thing when you have that kind of an intellectual bent you want direct experience first i experienced first and then read it that's how i teach i make you experience first and then i will read out the samadhi shloka some of you have not even taken you to the reading part yet of the samadhi shloka you're just practicing the samadhi without really reading the shloka i'll read it out to you tomorrow and you'll be like oh for the past two days we've been doing this and you get there through experience and then you read it then you understand what the sage is saying because you've experientially already seen it yeah so that is the intention here you come that way drop the blind faith and no 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 blah 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 ta ta yeah do not believe ekta blindly no manyata the word in hindi that we use here is manyata manyata is the belief no belief you show me direct experience when in direct experience you can see it then what's the point of philosophy why should i memorize 7000 shlokas of the bhagavad gita why i can see it in direct experience then i can read the 7000 shlokas and explain what it says to you i don't need to memorize them do you see this is the opposite angle the direct experience way of approaching the knowledge yeah 
once you see it directly any scripture you can pick up read it once and say okay this is what it say yeah because you've seen it so it doesn't matter in which language it is written by whom it is written because everybody whoever saw the truth saw the same truth because truth is one if you see that truth there is no no ways that you're going to have a slip not possible yeah so if there is any way to get to it there is only one you save out the illusion from the real leave it the reality yeah that's what maharaj is saying here again and again <laughs> Yeah, but he made it so clear. It's like crystal clear. And if you've got even a little bit of the glimpse of resting as the witness, you understand it totally. You like totally. It clicks. Every word is true. You know it, right? Yeah. There's not one word which you didn't understand about his world. Yeah. You are just afraid to let go of what you think is juicy and delicious here. But he's saying it is all of no value. You thought it is gold, but it is tin. <laughs> Throw it away, aluminium. Yeah, it's of no value. Does that mean I have to leave my family, friends, money, and go run away to the Himalayas? Is that the meaning of destroying your world? If you understood it that way, then you're totally on a different tangent, huh? Completely wrong. What is he saying? Yes, it's here. The shift from the person, from the vyakti, move at least to the vyakta, to the witness. Yeah, got nothing to do with this. This happens on its own. Everything, every action is taken by this body on its own. It speaks on its own. It takes care of itself, even when sick. even when tortured even when it's in a difficult situation it knows what to do i have got nothing to do with it that is the meaning of destroying that is the meaning of being passionately dispassionate i don't care what happens with this body mind complex it was always running on its own i just fooled myself so many years i'm going to quit the foolery quit the drama It's actually a relief. Wow! I don't need to do anything. Wow! I'm not responsible for this. Wow! What a relief. If you're living with a burden, I'm responsible for this and the world. Yeah. No, I'm not responsible. It's happening on its own. Yeah. So now, through the next few days, you keep seeing this truth, moment to moment. Not one glimpse is enough, huh? The ego will come up with new stories in a few hours. You'll just get into bed and see new stories will come up, moment to moment, staying with this truth. Now that you see it, oh, this is the truth. This is the truth. I am not responsible. I am free. I was always liberated. I just fooled myself. I'm free. Just be with that. Just be with that relief.